this video is to talk to you about bullion stitches. Before we start this stitch, I want to talk to you for a minute about different types of thread. So I hope that you can see these two threads that are laying here. And I want you to look at the twist that's in the thread. This twist is angled this way. The twist on this thread on the right is angled this way. So this one is called a Z twist. The middle of a Z would go this direction. It would go over, down, and right. And so the middle of the Z is where you look. This is a Z twist thread. This thread on the left is an S twist. The middle of an S goes this direction. And so this is an S twist. The reason I'm showing you that is because as you're making bullion stitches, as you're wrapping the thread around, one direction of wrapping will kind of unwind the thread, and your knot will be prettier if you go the other direction. So let's first of all learn how to do a bullion knot. Okay, I want to have a knot that is going to lay flat on the fabric. I don't need it to curve, I just want it to lay flat. So I'm going to come up and then I'm going to go down and back up right next to where I was earlier, okay, where I came up first. I'm going to leave my needle in the fabric. I don't like how that looks right there, so I'm going to go down and up again. There we go. Okay, I'm going to kind of hold my needle so that I can wrap. Now I'm going to wrap this, this direction, which is counterclockwise around the needle. And I want you to look at the wraps. They look nice and tight. So I'm thinking that with an S-twist thread, I'm going to want to wrap counterclockwise. But let's, just for fun, wrap this way. And sometimes you can't really tell, but do you see how my threads are not as defined? It's kind of unwrapping the twist on my thread a little bit. I think it looks better this direction. So I'm going to wrap around my needle. And I want my wraps to equal the same distance as from here to here. So that looks just about right. This distance is the same as this. Now I'm going to just hold those wraps gently between my thumb and forefinger and I'm going to pull my needle through. Pull slowly so that you don't tangle your thread. And when I get to where it won't pull anymore, I'm going to lay my bullion knot down. I'm going to kind of just pinch it really lightly And that is my bullion knot. I'm not done yet though because I have to go down into the back of my fabric. Okay, so there is my first bullion knot. If you wrap the same distance as your space, you'll have a knot that will lay flat on your fabric. Okay, let's do another one. This time I want it to be a curved bullion knot. I want it to kind of curve gently this way. So in order to do that, I'm going to wrap more than the space. Alright, we decided that I liked it this way, so I'm going to go around the needle. In a counterclockwise direction. Okay, that's a little bit longer than here, but I want it to curve quite nicely, so I'm going to add a few more. I'm going to hold this gently, push this through. When I have a tail like that, I'm going to pull the tail through on its own so that I don't get it in there. Okay, remember to just kind of gently 
cool. You don't want to distort your wraps. And I'm going to go down in that same hole. Oops. You don't want your thread to get wrapped around in that. And now, see how that bullion knot can lay down and be nice and curved. Okay. If you're having um, a struggle getting them to stay laying down, you can press them very, very lightly. You mostly want to just kind of steam them. Or you can come up and do a couch stitch across it. But they're prettier if you can just let them lay. Okay, I want to change threads for a minute. And show you, um, that was done with a size... Oh, let's see, five. That's a size five pearl cotton. Here's a size eight pearl cotton. And this will make a much smaller knot. I want this one to curve, so I'm going to way over fill it. This is another pearl cotton, and so I'm going to twist it this way. Now, another brand of pearl cotton might be a Z twist. You just have to kind of look at the at the wraps and see which way you like it. It will visually appear more to your liking one direction or the other. Okay, that's going to be a really nice big rounded one. Sorry, my hands get so in the way, don't they? You can just put the end of your needle down right there. And there's a nice little knot that'll stand up right there. Nice. Okay, so that's with a smaller size thread. And now I want to show you one with a different type of thread. So we'll do one over here. And we'll just do a nice flat bullion right here. Now, this one was the one that was a Z twist. If you'll look carefully at the wraps, you'll see that the center of a Z goes in that angle, and that's the direction. Since this is opposite, and I twisted these knots counterclockwise, I'm going to go clockwise around with this one. This is a silken pearl, so it's a silk thread, and I just want it to lay nice and quite flat. So I'm going to pull that through with just a few wraps. Silk thread does tangle a little bit easier than a cotton thread. Now we'll lay this down. Oh, you know what I did? I didn't make sure that my wraps were down by the end of my needle. So that's what happens. You will make mistakes when you're doing bullions. Okay, we're going to do another one because I we have to show a good one. All right. So when I get to the part where I messed up, I'll tell you. So when I was doing the wraps right here, I, I had it loopy down here at this end. I didn't push the wraps down by the end, and so that's why that looped. And I just have to apologize right now about my hands. I have wintertime hands. They're all clack, cracked and chappy. <laughs> okay. So now the wraps are all nice and tight down at that area. I'm going to make sure that I pull very slowly so that I don't tangle. And we'll lay that stitch down. 
Another name for this stitch is the grub stitch. It's kind of creepy, but it definitely looks like a little grub, doesn't it? So there's a nice bullion. And you can make them any size. You can curve them as much as you want. If you want to do um, a knot that's almost a complete circle, you um, go down and up almost right on top of each other. I'm going to dangle this thread just a little bit and try and get it un unwrapped. Okay, so you would go down and up. You're going to wrap it quite a few times because we want to do a nice big circle. Now I don't want to have this wrap down there at the bottom be in the wrong spot or too loopy, so I'm checking that to make sure that it's pulled. You don't want to wrap the wraps around your needle so tight that they that the needle won't pull through easily either so you kind of have to be careful there okay time to pull you can get long long wraps on here you can get them very very long So there's a really curved one. That one you could tack it down over here on the right and then do another one opposite of it and it would almost look like a little pair of eyes. I'll just do a little catch stitch across there. And there's a really long bullion.